van shoes a question that people always tend to ask about them is are they good for wearing at the gym and some people online have said yes so i'm going to talk a little bit about van shoes and uh, their suitability for wearing in the gym for any activity so here's why i believe that vans are not suitable for the gym and why wearing the right sports shoes is going to be better for your foot health so i'll start by saying um, that yes of course you can wear them to the gym if the gym allows you to. Now, just because you can do something doesn't necessarily make it a good idea. Plenty of gyms will turn a blind eye to what have you know what you're wearing on your feet, but that doesn't really mean that they're right. Okay, the question is, should you wear them, not can you wear them? Now, I've been running a shoe blog for quite a while now, and I'm constantly amazed at the number of people who want to cut corners and wear these casual shoes for everything, literally everything, even though they aren't designed for the activity in question. Now, vans were originally designed as skate shoes, okay, because they've got this flat base and the stable rubber soles which allows people to maneuver their skateboards more easily and um, but then the shoes became a bit of a fashion item so now want, people want to wear them you know walking everywhere and the fact is whilst they're great shoes for some everyday wear they aren't gym shoes they're not walking shoes and they're not hiking shoes so if you want to do those activities you need to be buying the right shoes for the job using shoes for multiple tasks can be okay provided they're designed for the activity if they aren't you need to invest in shoes that do the work for you so just bear that in mind because you know people want to wear these shoes in the gym and they aren't right so you might ask, well, what is it about them that doesn't work? Well, if you have a good gym shoe, it's flexible, it's cushioned and comfortable, they're supportive, they have grippy soles, they'll be breathable because obviously your feet sweat in the gym and they're versatile. So they'll take you from a weights uh, section of the gym to the cardio and classes, okay? So an ideal gym shoe that's been designed by one of the big companies has got support stability, cushioning, all kinds of things that they've spent millions on developing and vans simply don't have that, okay? They are not good for working out. Now, if you've got the slip-ons, they're even worse because with the slip-ons, your foot goes inside them, there's no uh, laces to support you and your feet can slip out of them. Let's say if you're on the treadmill, um, they're also uh, not great for uh, things like uh, CrossFit because they're not supportive and the flat sole doesn't cushion your feet. Um, so these are not the best shoes for you to wear at all. Now, the next thing I mentioned is uh, that wearing these to the gym also gives you a bit of an indication of what the gym is like, okay? Because most professionally run gyms have written policies on their websites that not only discuss the behavior that they expect from their customers, but also the clothing and footwear that is allowed on the premises. And from what I've seen, and from where I, any gym that I've been to, there are a couple of common rules that regularly turn up on gym websites, and they are only proper sports clothing and clean sports shoes should be allowed in the gym, and secondly, street shoes shouldn't be allowed in. So vans do not meet professional gym standards. And gyms do not create these rules for no reasons. They want special, you know, sports shoes to be worn for your safety. Slip-on shoes are not secure when you're on a machine and can be dangerous. And van shoes don't have the cushioning to make them great running shoes. So most gyms make it clear that their personal preference for proper sports shoes need to be worn in the premises. Plus, they also don't want street shoes being worn inside the gym because it isn't that hygienic. Some people think it's acceptable to wear their van shoes outside in all the weathers as possible and then waltz into the nice clean gym environment wearing the same shoes. And as you can imagine, that isn't the nicest if you're following that person after you've been on a machine or in an area. So... If you're at home or if you're in a professional gym, don't wear them. The other thing I should mention is that, you know, that there's reasons why vans don't work. They have flat soles, good for skateboarding, uh, but let's say um, people have suggested they should be for weightlifting. Well, having a slightly well elevated heel on a weightlifting shoe helps to reduce knee stress, it improves balance, enhances ankle mobility, and generally makes the shoes more stable. These don't have that. These 
these haven't got great support, as you can see. Um, there are traction issues. That waffle insole or the, you know, the outsole there that you see uh, might be okay for grip in some circumstances, but it doesn't do the job when you're moving heavy weights on a gym floor. So you've got slipping risks with them. There's insufficient strapping and we could go on. So leave your vans at home, wear them for casual use and buy some proper shoes for when you're in the gym.